Hello everybody. Let us understand the difference between union and joints and when you have to perform union and when you have to perform joints. Imagine you have a data like a sales data. Okay, the sales data from a different country or from a different state. That is you are getting you are having three or four different data okay that is excel file or a csv whatever it may be okay that is this is a sales data of one um one state from one state and another file that is another excel file which having which containing the sales data of an another state okay so imagine that you have a sales data of three different state okay and if you want to combine that into a single file okay i want to combine that into a single file so in that case you can go with the union okay so if you want to combine the data with the same structure because of course the same sales data no we'll be having uh, the data like basic data that has the same type of attributes that is a column okay so might be the date um sales uh, id okay and uh, number of sales uh, product number of products sold okay and uh, um the price okay the total number of price okay imagine if this is a case and if you have the same type of structure in almost all these three sales data then you can go with the union okay so it is like appending the data of three different files into a single file okay so another example like if you want to combine the contacts in one table with the contacts in another table then you can go with the union okay if you want to perform union you should have you should check all these things that the tables or if you are considering three different tables to be uh, appended okay then it should have the same fields okay fields in the sense same type of column okay if for example see this is my first file second file and third file if in this file i have three columns ensure that in other two files also i have three columns okay this file should also have three columns and this file also have three columns okay that is same fields and related fields have the same names and data types okay so it should also have same name and data type for example here if we have serial number name and uh, country also in this file also you should have serial number name and country and even here it should have serial number name and country then it will not create any chaos okay so you can easily append it okay so that we have to just ensure see this is the data this is the 2015 data where i have date average time train rain and max when i have the same for 2016 and 17 so what you can do is you can append these things that is you can do union okay so these four data that is uh, this table is in a blue color you can see that this will come here and this will come here and this will come here okay so if you do an union so what happens see seven one eight one nine one and see seven one eight one nine one until it comes here okay and 7 1 2016 because here you have 9 1 2016 right so 7 1 2016 is here 8 1 2016 is here and 9 1 2016 comes here after that only you're getting this 9 1 2016 okay and all these data comes below that okay so it is arranging properly and also you can see that if you have any blank field okay if the data is not there in any cell any record so that will be replaced into a null in tableau prep builder okay so this concept is same almost in any technology if you are doing like if you are going with a talent or if you are using sql okay like sql so whatever it may be the concept is same so for doing union you have to follow these things and how it will be 
and if you want to do joins then you should follow some specific conditions okay so you can see that um, the data if the record is having any field which is not entered which is not having any field so it will be replaced into null okay what happened to the mismatched field so if you are having a different field okay for example in 2015 instead of date i have day okay or i have uh, uh, date of entry like that okay imagine that i have this name of this column to be like this okay so occur when tables in the union have different fields or related uh, fields have different names or a data type okay so what happens is see this is what the different field in one uh, in the one file i have region year sales and sales representative and in another file i have region year sales and managers okay so if these are the different types of mismatched fields we will call it as then it will create like this okay after union after you perform union this your table your final table will be having extra one more uh, column okay and these are the data okay if you see here for managers you don't have any entry in this table right in this table you don't have managers field so what will happen in managers it will replace into null okay and in this table you don't have sales representative so sales representative will become null here got it so this is how uh, if you have a mismatched field how your union ap after doing union after appending your two or more uh, uh, table or uh, two or more files this is how your result will be okay and also if you have a different types of data because in the very previous uh, the first thing i have told that you should have what you should have same field if you don't have same field then what will happen you will end up with one more column with null fields null records and if you don't have the same data type okay if you don't have the same data type then what will happen see here this is my first uh, file where i have uh, hours as what this is integer okay that is number here the hours is like a string okay a b c so now what will uh, happen see if you have a different uh, uh, hours different types of thing then even there you will end up with a uh, different confusions okay so ways to create union there are two ways that you can create union in tableau prep builder that we will see it as a demo so you have a wildcard union and you can also perform a separate union steps okay you can add a union step in the flow that is a workflow or else automatically you can find the database tables using a wildcard search okay so this is all about join sorry this is all about union so let us understand join so if you have the common key field in two or more table you can perform join okay see combining data based on common fields okay common fields means what it should both should have a common field so how we will uh, create a common field only if you have a primary key and a foreign key connectivity okay it will be good if you have a primary key and a foreign key connectivity or else even if it has a common key you can just uh, do the joins okay so in this two table you can see that this is my first table where i have vendor city and state here i have vendor and total sales remember that in union it will strictly check for whether the structure is same that is if in one table you have three column in another table which you are going to append should also have three columns but in join that is not a case you should have a common field at least one common field in order to join two tables now what will happen in join you have four types of join that is specifically in tableau prep builder that is inner left left join right join and full outer join so what happens in inner join see this is my two table where i have vendor city state and this is an another table where i have uh, 
vendor and total sales okay table i'm representing it like you may have it to two different files like an excel file csv file pdf whatever it may be okay so here you can see that vendor and vendor i have a common field vendor if i do inner join okay see what happens vendor is coming up here city state and total sales okay vendor is common in both and in both the cases whichever is common okay that is for example vendor that is polish lollipop is there in vendor that you can also see that in the second table so that complete data is there in your resultant table Lucy's lollies is there in your first table you can see Lucy's lolly is also there in your second table so that complete data is here and you can see that Carlos Calazos candy that is also available in the second table so you can see Carlo Carlo Calazos candy but if you see the fourth record this record and this record are different okay it doesn't it is not a common field right so you don't have a same data here okay because we have took vendor as a common field okay inner join means whichever that is in the table one what are the uh, that is the co in common field in the table one which are all available the same data should also be there in the table two then only you will get the result okay next is left join in left join you can see that see this is your left table and this is the right table okay so in left join the the entry the records from all records rows are all same okay so entry records or rows from the left table should be there will be there in your resultant table and the common record or row in the right table will be there okay you can see polly's lollipop is there lucy's carlo is also there but minx minty is here in the, your left table which is available here in the resultant table where minx minty is not there in your right table which is also not there in your resultant table okay then what will happen to total sales okay because you know vendor city and state is common but in total sales it will replace it into null okay this is we call it as a left join likewise in the right join the rows all rows in the right table will be there and the matching rows in the left table will be there okay so right join means see you can see the Polly's lollipop is here, Lucy's lollies is here, Carlo Calazo is here, and Snyman's snappy taffy, which is there in the right table is here, but the the records like uh, the entry which is not match matched with the left table will be replaced with null. Okay, and full out of join which will show up all the records in both the table okay see poly lollipop lucy's lollies carlo minx minty and simon everything is here and it will replace null if it doesn't find any value for it okay and in tableau prep builder and also i think in tableau we have this concept which is left unmatched only and right unmatched only okay left unmatched only what it will do is it will return only the rows from the left table that do not have a match in the right table which is reverse of left join okay only minx minty is not there in the right table so only minx minty will be here okay likewise right unmatched only will return only the rows from the left table that do not have a match in the right table okay so simon's snappy taffy will be here okay and only unmatched in both the table okay that is instead of doing an inner inner uh, join one unmatched only means what it will do in both the table what which record is not matched that alone will be displayed this all we will see with a practical example you just understand what is the concept
okay the self join means join a table with itself using a self join okay the same table will be joined see an employee uh, that is the manager is null means what happens uh, see christine christine is an employee and for that employee jamal is a manager okay tristan is an employee where the jamal is a manager jamal is an employee where is lily is a manager lily is an employee where there is no manager for lily okay because here there is no entry for lily that is why it is showing null this is what self join means okay so how the self join will look like it will create a it, that is the same table will assumes to be an another table okay the second table and it will find for the matches okay so you should know the difference when to use go with the join and when to go with the union okay go to jo go and choose join only if your tables have tables having a common field and other data source do not need to be the same type okay because here in join you don't have any other condition like other data types or a column should have the same type of data okay and uh, if you want to make the data wider so you can see that in join your data will be going wider okay it will add new new records in the right side whereas in union your your record your table will be lengthier okay so good choose union only if you want to append rows from one table to another table table should be similarly structured okay or the table should have the proper uh, name that is a proper attributes and unions lengthen the data making it taller okay it will lengthen the data making it taller so this is the example for union here what we are doing it doing is we are just making the data taller okay and here you can see that here we are widening the data got it 